You believe in the Second Amendment to the Constitution, right? I mean, you consider yourself a keeper of the flame, and you intend to pass that torch on to the next generation of Americans. So tell me, if you could see into the next century and know whether the Second Amendment is still intact or in shambles, would you look? If someone could predict the outcome a half a hundred years from now of all your conviction and commitment and hard work, would you listen? Well, you can. What guarantees me freedom? Oh. That's a hard question. What is the Constitution? I don't know. Gives me freedom? I don't know. Will they be the keepers of the flame? No, I do not think everybody should have a right to own a gun. What is the Constitution? I don't know. Guns, in general, are very bad. What is the Constitution? I don't know. Uh, what's the Constitution? Mm, I don't know. Will they carry the torch? I have no idea what the Second Amendment is. An amendment is... What do I know about the Second Amendment? Um... Huh. Let me think. What is the Second Amendment? Uh, you got me there. I don't know. <laughs> What's the Second Amendment? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something's gone wrong for all our vigilance and battle scars over the Bill of Rights. Have we let the flame of freedom's torch grow cold? Because there can be no torch to pass where there's no flame. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment. Textbooks ignore it, schools teach against it, clergy preach against it, politicians legislate against it, media ridicule it, movies pervert it, courts avoid it, and too many gun owners permit it. So it's not unreasonable that with one lost generation, we could lose the Second Amendment forever because we didn't teach them what the battle's all about. We didn't strike that spark in their hearts that lights the fire for freedom. So why does that belief burn so brightly in you and me? Our core beliefs are the work of all the men and women of our childhoods, a constellation of people who orbited around us, tugging here, pushing there, day after day as we grew, shaping our beliefs carving our characters until we became who we are. Do you remember them? Parents who didn't just talk about values, but who lived out those values. The gym coach whose knotted rope taught you to pull your own weight. The scoutmaster who surely had a job and a family to tend to, but always made time for you. The clergyman whose moral compass helped guide your way. The grocery store owner who played along with mom in an unscripted scolding that ended your candy pilfering days forever. The principal whose handmade paddle was somehow comforting. It meant punishment was certain, so was forgiveness. The neighborhood teenager who bragged about joining the army, but whose silence after the war taught you even more. The teacher who stood up for the weak and stared down the bully. The neighborhood policeman who didn't just know the law, he knew everything you were thinking. That stranger you watched at the football game who, during the national anthem, unknowingly guided your hand over your heart. And that woman by him, her eyes fixed in the flag, who taught you patriotism isn't just for guys. All those people, they gave you a, a sense of geography about your life, where you fit in, right and wrong. Each of us is a tapestry of threads woven by all of them. They understood their part in the pattern of personal responsibility, freedom, honesty, justice, the Bill of Rights. That is the living torch they passed to us. Imagine if every kid had learned what we learned, that without a Second Amendment, by what means could a free people expect to protect freedom? We learned that, history proves it, Common sense confirms it, and any school kid can grasp it. Only people who are free to own firearms can remain free people. If every kid could just learn that a gun is a thing to be handled with care and respect, and yes, honor. 
because beneath all the trappings of hobby and camaraderie and sport, a, a firearm is the fundamental symbol of our freedom. Because a firearm gives the most common of common men the most simple and supreme right to pursue life and liberty and happiness in accordance with and under the protection of the law. That's why the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That is the passion we must ignite in those who follow. All of us who feel that surge of pride, who chill at the genuine glory of a free people able to protect their own freedom. So what are we doing about it? Yes, we can blame violent crime or Sarah Brady or the media or bullet-riddled movies and certainly some blame is due. But what effort has our generation spent to make sure the next generation feels as deeply as we do? If we focus on anti-gun legislation but ignore an anti-gun generation, if we spend years as pro-gun activists but only minutes as pro-gun mentors, if we've earned the support of this generation of office holders but not the next generation of voters, we will have failed. We must tell it, teach it, live it, breathe it. Every one of us born beneath this blessed American sky has rights nobody can take away because no one gave them to us. They were ours from the beginning. Each of us has a birth certificate, but it didn't give us life. It just put on paper what everybody already knows. We are alive. In the same way, the Constitution didn't give us rights. It just put on paper what everybody already knows. We are free to say and write and think and work and worship as we choose. We're free to own a firearm and that right shall not be infringed. If you consider yourself a freedom-loving patriot, you can't shirk your duty to teach America's young to understand the Second Amendment, to revere it, to embrace it, to defend it, and in their turn, to bequeath it. That's what we have to do. We, the teachers, the neighbors, the clergy, the uncles, the grocers, the legislators, the scoutmasters, the parents, the Americans. Only then can we pass the torch with that sacred flame that lights the American way.